Let's play platformer demo. This is a demo of a platformer, amazingly enough, by Kupo707, aka Matt Like Swords, aka the dude that made Epic Battle Fantasy and a bunch of other awesome games like uh, Bullet Heaven, which I also played. This is just a demo, obviously, and it's also a platformer, surprisingly enough. And we've got a sign here. Whoop! Death. Okay, not death, actually. But yes, jump while holding down through to drop through a platform. Falling into a pit won't kill you right away. Excellent. Since it's just a demo, you can't actually die. So, let's just go, to he um, go ahead and get zero health. So he's using the health meter from, uh, what's it called? Uh, Bullet Heaven. Maybe some other games. I haven't... I'm not sure if he's made other stuff that I'm not aware of or not. Bah. Spastic jumping. Okay. How do I do chests here? Press up. And I'm not sure what the star, what's with the star when you open a chest. He explained that you don't get anything when you open a chest yet, but it's just got a star on it, and it's like, I don't, I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Press up to open chests, flick switches, or go through doors. Excellent. Hold down to duck and dodge attacks. You can also crawl around slowly. Yeah. Look at that crawling around. Crawling action, action, action. Press X to open a spell menu. The one thing I definitely don't like so far in this game is the uh, the spell menu because it it you know you're it's f nice fluid platformer and you move around. Everything controls smoothly and everything, and then all of a sudden. You gotta pause the game, and then select your magic, and then aim your magic, cast it, and then back to normal action. It, you know, it it's something cut straight out of an RPG, but doesn't quite work in a normal platformer. What I would suggest is a little scrolly thingy here, like have a fire icon, an ice icon, and blah blah blah. And you press, say, like A and S to toggle which magic, and then you can just cast it right away with whatever the cast button would be. Because uh, the way it is right now just interrupts the action quite a lot. Uh, it would be hard to replace the way the current method of aiming, because for this you really do need the kind of pause and mess around with the arrow keys and blah blah blah. But it just doesn't feel as fluid as the rest of everything, and doesn't also feel as fluid as, you know, a platformer really should. So there's not quite an easy solution to that without changing the way magic works, but I just don't think it feels, oops, quite as fluid as it should. And also, this is just a demo, so I'm assuming that's why... Um, all of the instructions are hitting you at once, of course, but I just wanted to note um, you don't want to hit people with every single instruction in the entire game, you know, in your very beginning tutorial thing. It's nicer to just let people mess around and find out, oh, I can walk around and jump. And then you learn, oh, I can attack stuff. And then, you know, you start using magic and you do everything sequentially instead of just learning it all at once. But. Yeah, it's just a demo, so I would assume. Oh, right. Some sweet sound effects there. I don't know what that switch does. I actually don't think it does anything. Let's try to go up here. Just gotta get all these coins. That's right, Parker, we gotta get the coins. Yeah. Yeah. He's talking to you. Don't. Not in front of the keyboard, buddy. Okay, this is like a teleporty thing, I guess. Yeah. You can teleport to places, kill stuff, and uh, it's been, you know, indicated that in the real game there won't just be the targets, there'll be actual enemies, so uh, yeah. don't expect levels that actually look like this. That would be a very odd little game. It actually kind of would be a lot like the, what is it called, that target practice thing in Smash Bros. Oh yeah, and you can stab stuff while you're crouching. Oh, and there's experience if you didn't notice. Let's kill something. Yeah. There's experience, so I guess there's some RPG elements, unsurprisingly. 
Oh, and a uh, cool thing I noticed, if you hit something with fire, all of a sudden it takes more damage. It's, what is it, like, 25% or something more damage? And if you hit it with ice, I think it takes normal damage, but I would assume that it freezes enemies in place. So, that'll be cool once it's a real game. But it's looking good so far. It already feels, the movement feels just fine. There's, you know, there's no real levels yet, but I'm liking how it's looking so far, and I definitely look forward to the final product. And I suggest that you should go to Kupo 707, or, yes, 707, it's a deviant art page, and you can follow him and like the, uh, the demo thingy. I don't know, um, what terms they use for... And I think it's add to favorites is what you do when you like something on DeviantArt. I don't use it very much. Does this thing ever die? This thing does not ever die. Oh well. Let's burn it. Yeah! Stab it! Stabby stabby! Okay, that's not gonna die. Anyway, this has been Platformer Demo. A Platformer Demo. By Platformer Demo.